But more than likely, these are the images that come to mind when the phrase Met Gala is uttered. New York may hold claim to the original gala, but Baltimore has its own version of the soiree. And just like New York, the gala brings the best of fashion, art, and culinary scenes. Join us now to talk about the Baltimore Met Gala. We have Laurent Finney and Derek Chase. Good to see both of y'all. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you, man. Hey. You made this happen at the BMA last year, and that success just pulls right on over now to uh, over by the Hippodrome. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're very pleased to be at the new Exchange Building, which is attached to the Hippodrome Theater, a $20 million in, uh, renovation project. And this year is just going to be an extension of what we were able to do last year, where we really highlight the talent in Baltimore around fashion, art, and culinary. I saw the pictures from last year. Yeah. People came correct for Met Gala. I mean, it's just like in New York, but here in Baltimore. Right, and, and the whole thing is Baltimore is worthy of this type of event. Sure. Um, there's so much success here. There's so much art. Art is life. Yeah. You know, there's art and culinary. There's art and fashion. There's the traditional expression of art. Sure. And what we've done is we're bringing all that together into one space where the energy yeah. will tell a different story in terms of how Baltimore has traditionally been presented. For people who don't understand what the Met Gala is like, describe what that night's gonna be like for them. It's gonna be a high-end fashion, first of all. So when you walk the red carpet, mm -hmm. please come with your best uh, <laughs> opportunity. And then when you get inside the space, as Chase said, we're gonna really highlight the best artists, not just in Baltimore, but from around the country. We have nine designers, 128 models, yeah. and then 10 restaurants will provide the culinary treats for us. And if your fashion game isn't up just to par to be there, there there's some people you're suggesting to go out and oh, maybe find your outfit. Without a shadow of a doubt, you know, one of the individuals who are going to be focused uh, and is a part of the Met Gala is Jody, okay. uh, Jody Davis, uh, who some of us know or some people know, she was the one who dressed the first lady of the state. Yeah. So we're featuring nine designers. You can go directly to the website, www.baltimoremetgala.com and get an opportunity to tap right into the designers because the other part of this is, is we want, we're going local with this, okay. support local designers. You were talking about making Baltimore shine. You're doing some community impact awards, which I think is important because they're names that we may know their names, but we don't understand how big they are in the city. Talk to me about the awards you'll be giving out. So community impact is one of the key elements. That was one of the foundations for the Met Gala last year. And we wanted to, again, extend that uh, and recognize individuals who are really impacting our youth, but more importantly, an economic side for Baltimore City. So Park Heights Renaissance and what they're doing in that community, beloved community services and what he's doing with the Thurgood Marshall, Springboard, that specific intention around youth work, Kweisi and Fume, over 30 million in earmarks. Yeah. And then we think it's important to recognize Theron Atwater and Soulful Symphony for 25 years and what he's done in that music industry. Do you feel like Baltimore is having some sort of renaissance right now? I feel like there are events and things that are going on that I don't remember as a kid. Right. Uh, and we see so many different faces out there now enjoying it. Yeah, Baltimore's been in the renaissance for 25 years. Yeah. Uh, the challenge with Baltimore is, is to, it's, it's, it's kind of like allowing your enemy to keep the store, the score, uh, yeah. right? Uh, if Baltimore tells his own story, I mean, look at what we're doing. Look at what we're doing with the Met Gator. Look at what we've done with Jazzy Summer Nights. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many amazing things. Baltimore has over 240 unique neighborhoods mm -hmm. where you have community associations that's doing tremendous work. But every time there's an opportunity, we don't necessarily highlight that. Sure. So what Baltimore Met Gala does, it highlights the best of us. Yeah. And not just a Baltimore showcase. It's how we're showcasing Baltimore for the rest of the world. All right, Ron, people want to take part. What should they do? Uh, go to BaltimoreMetGala.com. All the information is there. They can purchase tickets, get designers, see the menu, see which artists we have featured, and get a sneak peek at the venue. So again, BaltimoreMetGala.com. We don't want sweatsuits on the red carpet. We don't want <laughs> not your grass-cutting sneakers. <laughs> Man, look, you, look, if you know Jody Davis and Earl Bannister, you need to come correct. All right, gentlemen, yeah. thank you. Good to we see you. We appreciate you. Thank yeah, you, man. We look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, we'll see you there. <laughs>